I thought you had bellyache. I do. No, you haven't. You're just scarving so you can see Sarah. If I was king, I'd have ice cream every day. You should be at school, pal. And there'd be no school, and trees would grow right up into space. Wait. That's right. Leave me alone. Just hang on. Why? If you change your mind, you're going to help him? I don't know how you're going to live with yourself. I don't know about you, but I usually find that a sticky bun helps me live with myself. Coffee and an orange juice, please. You, uh, don't fancy babysitting, do you? Uh, no. I'm not a baby. Don't think you're going to be seeing much of me today. Come on, lad. No, I can't live. Bacon signing to go, please, Hazel. Jackson said you was a bit of a nutter. But I said to myself, I said, Hazel, take as you find. You are. But he was obviously right. What are you thinking of? Selling a car to that little weasel. Shh. Well, honestly, I thought you had more sense. Is there something you want to tell me? Brilliant. Right, go and draw a picture. I need to speak to Aaron. You said we weren't going to be in the garage. Go on. Well, it's fine, man. I've got nothing to talk about. Right, this Mickey guy. Came round to yours, yeah? Yeah, he's just whining. He's a little runt. Yeah, with a big dog. He hung around for ages waiting for you. Then turned up on your doorstep. Don't like the sound of that. Did anybody ask you two for an opinion? Why don't you just give the man his money back? Problem solved. Rodney's right. And what do you reckon? Well, I reckon you can listen to the two old geezers or you can front him out yourself. Hey, these two old geezers know what they're talking about. No, I can handle Mickey. As long as there's no come back here, fine by me. Now, we've got a new business idea for yeah, you. Yeah, niche market. Can't go wrong. <laughs> dodgy cars for dodgy blokes. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> uh -oh. His sense of timing is uncanny. <clears throat> All right, lads. Morning. Bit talking about me, will you? No, no, just passing the time of day. Oh, yeah, I like that. Give me a cold beer and a few mates. I can spend hours passing the time of day. <laughs> Sorry, is there something you want? I think you know what I want. Why don't you just jog on? <laughs> Here's me thinking we could all be buddies, eh? <laughs> You're wasting your time and mine. All right, well, let's forget the buddies part. Give me the money and I'm out of your life. What is the matter with you? You're thick as something. I told you last night, you're not getting it. Running out of patience now. Oh, that's supposed to scare me, is it? You're getting a second chance. Hey, I don't do second chances. Give me the money and I'm gone. I've got a better idea. Why don't I not give you the money and you're still out of my life? Now do one. See you around. Seem pretty serious. So? So... First he's causing trouble at Paddy's, and then he's back at the garage today. Persistent, isn't it? Yeah, we were talking. We, uh, we reckon he might have a screw loose. It's a bit of a jump, isn't it? Not saying he's a full-on psycho. It's just the way that him and his dog keep turning up. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, but not that weird. Well, let's just say I'm glad it's not me he's after. <laughs> when I first heard about this box, this big, mysterious box, I was hoping... Well, not so much shopping, but a small part of me was thinking, maybe it's a severed head. <laughs> but it wasn't, was it? It's a dog collar. I'm sorry, but that isn't going to give me any sleepless nights. What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Mickey. Who's Mickey? All right, um, Aaron sold his bank car to this really weird bloke and he came by last night and started mouthing off. Brilliant! Yeah, and then he turned up at the garage again today. Oh, better and better. Look, why don't you... Have a word with Kane and I'll have a word with Aaron and we can see if we can sort this. Excellent, yeah. That is excellent because both of them, they're very good at listening to reason, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Mm, how's Debbie? Mm, bored stiff. Piling up the money because she's got nothing to spend it on. Mm. So I've told her she should give it to her mum. Yeah, she can chuck some my way as well. <gasps> Talking to kids, I need a word. No, no, not listening. You are? 24 hours with Noah and Kane reckons he never wants to hear the word kids again. Why? Cos he's grumpy. Yeah, she is dead right, clues in the name. 
Well, tough. You're gonna have to listen to me. What's going on with Aaron? How do you mean? I've heard about his new stalker. I don't know what you're on about. This guy, Mickey. Apparently, he turned up at the garage earlier. Have you been getting Aaron into trouble? It's got nothing to do with me. It's all his own doing. I am expecting you to look out for him. He can look out for himself. Oh, really? Well, apparently, this bloke has got a vicious mutt as a busy mate. Is that right? If this goes bad, Kane, I am holding you entirely responsible. I've had enough questions for me. I'm going for a bath. You all right? Yeah, that was your day. It was boring. Do you fancy nipping into town getting a curry? For some reason you're not going to be here. You what? Well, worried that guy might show up again like he showed up today at the garage. <sighs> Look, first you rip off Pearl and then you rip off this nutter. I didn't know he was a nutter, did I? I didn't know he'd be rocking up every five minutes. My mum lives here. Yeah, so she can look after herself. Oh, Aaron, why'd you do it? Why can't you be like a normal person and sell a decent car for a decent price? Oh, right, like you've never done a dodgy deal before. Are you that desperate to be like Kane? What? No. Then give him his money back. No chance. Oh, what's he reckon gonna do? Just shrug his shoulders and walk away? Why does everybody think that I'm scared of this guy? I'm not. I can handle him, you know. Unbelievable. 